G'day and welcome to another episode of Adventure Unlimited. Today it's just me. Uh, Paul is out doing some pre-running on a track on his bike for a race tomorrow. So that gives you a pretty good idea of what to expect for some of the episodes coming up. I want to talk about a really important issue today. Over the past couple of years, we've noticed a real increase in uh, people talking about mental health issues on social media and using their platforms to reduce the stigma around it. Uh, although our platform is quite small, it's an issue that's pretty close to our hearts and I want to talk about some pretty personal experiences. Over the years, I've been impacted by the suicide of many friends and colleagues. And statistically, 10 million Australians have been affected by suicide, which is a crazy statistic. It's almost one third of the Australian population. In mid-August, I lost one of my best friends of over 30 years to suicide. We met when we were five and stayed good friends up until she died. She was one of the most beautiful, kind, generous and fun-loving people that I've ever met. So many of my childhood memories are intertwined with memories of her and some of the most memorable and carefree experiences I've had in my adult life were shared with her. When she passed, it felt like a piece of me went with her. She wasn't without her troubles, but one of the last times I heard from her, just over a week before she passed, sounded like she'd really turned a corner. I had this overwhelming feeling of relief when I got her message that things were going to be okay. When she passed, her family requested that in lieu of flowers that donations be made to the Black Dog Institute. If you're not aware of the Black Dog Institute, I'll put some information in the description, but basically they're a charity organisation that conducts research into mental health issues and suicide prevention, and they also provide clinical services. Being overseas and feeling pretty powerless to help, I started brainstorming ways that I could raise money for the Black Dog Institute. I settled on signing up for the Angkor Wat Half Marathon and set up a GoFundMe for the Black Dog Institute with a goal of raising $6,000. Full disclaimer, I am not a runner, never have been. As you can see from the percentage increase from my training progress graph, it's not something I would ordinarily choose to do, but it's for a good cause. Over the past few months, I've been training regularly for the race, which is in three weeks now. And so far, I've managed to raise almost $4,000. I know we're in a cost of living crisis at the moment, but any change that you could spare for this fundraiser would be greatly appreciated. And being a registered charity, donations are tax deductible. I'll put the link in the description and also put a QR code up on the screen for those of you watching on a TV that you can scan with your phones. The final message I want to send is to look after yourselves and look after your mates. If you're struggling, please reach out to a trusted friend or family member. And if you're not comfortable with that, then reach out to a professional. It may not feel like it, but you are loved and the world is a better place with you in it. Both Paul and I have been through some difficult mental health challenges over the years. We met as we were both emerging from pretty dark periods in our lives and are proof that things can and will get better. If you know someone who's struggling, please reach out to them regularly even if it seems like they've turned a corner. And finally, if you are experiencing distress right now, please reach out to Beyond Blue or Lifeline. If you've made it to this point, thanks very much for watching uh, Look After Yourself and never miss an opportunity to tell those that you hold dear that you love them. Hopefully this video plays a small part in reducing the stigma around mental health issues. We'll be back next week with our usual programming. Uh, please let me know if you would like me to vlog the half marathon. It'll be ugly viewing, but let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that. In the meantime, please give this video a like, let the algorithm know that this message is important and the video should be spread far and wide. Until next time.